unpopular opinion, hands are actually easy to draw. If you can't, you're just mad. Come on, it's 2022 people, get real. Hey, it's your favorite digital artist, Blue. What a better way to start off 2022 than with a list video because I'm original. And what a better list video to make than one that involves my opinion because say it with me, your, your opinion, opinion is always right. right. Here are the seven things I hate drawing. Starting off in no particular order, we have number one, feet. Now I said this before and I'll say it again, feet are criminally underrated when it comes to hardest things to draw. Most of the time when I'm drawing, I completely leave them out. Even when I'm doing figure studies, I leave them out. That and the head and the hands, which really is only adding to the fire. Now my feet anatomy knowledge is way far behind compared to everything else that I know. But what am I gonna do? Do feet studies and try to explain to someone it's not what it looks like? Hey, I'm heading to the store. You want anything? It's not what it looks like. Yo, bro. everybody, like, he likes It's feet. just Google. Everyone, Yo, bro, he likes not feet. weird, bro. <laughs> shoes. You think I'd be able to cover up my problem by drawing over the feet with shoes, but no. They're probably equally as hard, if not harder, to draw than feet. Simply because there's no set in stone shape for shoes. What I mean by that is each shoe you draw is drastically different. It could be a boot, dress shoe, slide, heels, like it could be anything. And don't even get me started on laces. Each time I try to draw laces, it looks like a fishing line. <laughs> To be honest, feet and shoes are probably hard for me to draw because it's the only part on the body that's foreshortened like 90% of the time. And the only time it's really not foreshortened is when it's from the side view. But that's another story, which we can talk about now. Side profiles. It's not that I can't draw side profiles, it's more so that it's just uninteresting. But honestly, it's not the best view for us in real life. I mean, no offense, but most of our side profiles are just not it. Let's go! It's always the lips and the nose for me. They come out looking just strange whenever I try to draw them. Cars. Whenever I draw cars, it ends up looking like this. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's always just so cartoony whenever I try to draw them. I can never draw them to a high level of detail. The angles I hate drawing the most are the front, side, back, and top angles. Basically any vehicle. I know vehicles are very geometric and it's all about finding the right shape. And I hate drawing anything that's so geometric and use a straight line because I like staying loose. Plus, I could get away with more things. Now, I don't even think I need to say much about backgrounds. Backgrounds plagues almost 90% of the artist population, from beginner to intermediate to even advanced. And for a good reason, too. Most people stick to character illustration, but character illustration already needs so much knowledge like anatomy, values, composition. Depth is anatomy. Aren't all those things prevalent to background? Plus, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna spend time on something I don't enjoy doing. But for now, I'm gonna stick to my characters floating in empty space and be proud. It already took me half my life just to learn the human anatomy. Why would I start over again but for a hundred plus other species? Look. Bills need to be paid, but that doesn't mean it's always fun. Wait, when was it ever fun? This is the one time where finding shapes doesn't help me at all. Whenever I draw guns, it just looks like someone's holding a rectangle in their hand, and I can never make it look like anything more, no matter how much detail I add. I always have trouble making the nose seem like it belongs there. It always falls somewhere between anime and realistic, and it just looks awful. So after ranting, it looks like I haven't reached the 8 minute mark yet. That means I'm just gonna have to put in a little bit more effort, unfortunately. Instead of just complaining, I'm gonna face my problems. But not all at once, so let's start off small. I'm gonna spin the bottle. Whichever it lands on, I'm gonna have to do a photo study on. So let's get started. 
Alright guys, we have our epic spin the wheel here. All I use with my sketchbook paper, since I never use it, might as well put it to good use. And uh, this black marker and wherever the black tip lands on is what I'll be doing. Without further ado. Uh, right, I figured this black marker didn't spin good enough, so enough with that. We're gonna be using this. Yeah, so we're doing noses, guys. Alright, I recorded a quick time lapse because I know you guys love those. Starting off with the first nose, I really didn't know what colors to choose because I was trying to go out of my comfort zone, but it just didn't turn out that good. Throughout these studies, I was just going for those big painterly brush strokes to make it see what I know what I'm doing. Next, we have nose two, a straight on shot. I think the second nose turned out better, this time I went safer with the colors, plus since it's a straight on shot there's not really much I can mess up here. But with the third nose I was like no, I'm not gonna get any better if I play this safe. So I busted out some colors that I usually don't use and I think it turned out pretty good. I like how this is turning into a color study instead of a nose study. Alright, final nose here. I actually think I went too crazy on the colors here, but I actually like how it turned out. Anyways, tell me what you guys hate drawing the most in the comments below, and you'll be featured in the next video. But anyways, love you guys. Peace.